Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam he told us the siyam, the fasting, and the Quran, and the Quran, yashfa'an, they are two intercessors who make shifa, who intercede lil abd for the slave yawm al qiyam on the day of judgment. That's a very beautiful hadith. Understand something, it doesn't mean that fasting is a person or the Qur'an is a person. No. As Imam Ahmed from the Salaf of this Ummah, he explained, it is the thawab, the reward of fasting and the reward of the Qur'an recited in the nights. And that reward will intercede for the person until they are forgiven. Their intercession is accepted. How can we, how can we miss this opportunity? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts their intercession. The fasting will say that, I, Ya Rab, I kept them away from food and drink and desires in the day. Forgive him. The Quran will say, I kept him from sleeping at night. What does that mean? The people of Quran, they were the ones that would, they would be awake in the nights reciting. And this is something for Ramadan, for us coming up. Not just praying the Qiyam behind the Imam, reading the Qur'an, but ourselves individually, whatever from the Qur'an, to sit in the nights and recite it, so the Qur'an can intercede for us on the day of judgment. So the fasting and the Qur'an, the intercession is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From the things that I have said, and the things that I have conveyed to you, from the Qur'an and Sahih Ahadith, I haven't mentioned anything weak to you. 